is Tashrina King and welcome to Ties Online Tutoring Academy. Today we're just going to run through um, selected courses as it relates to the CNA course. Um, I may just be doing a read through from a selected book and uh, I'll be dividing this video probably in 15 minutes interval. Okay, so let's dive right into it. The first portion of the, the course is dealing with activities of daily living. And we're going to start with hygiene. So oral hygiene. Oral care prevents tooth decay and odors and promotes comfort. Many different medical conditions can cause oral problems. However, every patient, regardless of diagnosis, requires oral care. Equipment for providing oral care includes a towel, a face cloth, paper towel, gloves, toothpaste, toothbrush, a swab, floss, cup of water, and kidney basin and mouthwash. The skill care evaluation for providing mouth care would be one, you first wash your hands and put on gloves. Two, place the patient in an upright position, which is a 75 to 90 degrees angle. Uh, three, place towel across the patient's chest. Four, moisten toothbrush in a cup of water and apply paste. Five, which is very critical because it's bold in this book, is gently brush the entire mouth, including the teeth and the tongue. Six, give patient a sip of water to rinse mouth while holding the basin to their chin. Seven, wipe the patient's mouth. Eight, dispose of the linen and rinse the equipment. And nine, Remove gloves and wash hands. That's the skill evaluation. Now we go to flossing. Flossing should be done after brushing the patient's teeth. When preparing to floss a patient's mouth, first ensure that flossing is not con is this contaminated. To start, Break off a piece of floss and move it gently up and down between teeth. Start at the back of the right side of the mouth and work towards the left. So we're moving from right to left when we're flossing. Now we're going to the denture care. Denture care includes the cleaning and proper storage of patients' dentures. The nurse aide must need to, to remove the dentures from the patient's mouth by grasping them lightly with a piece of gauze. Once clean, place the dentures in a cup labeled with the patient's name and other necessary information, such as the room, room number. So the dentures is, is, is linked to cleaning and storage. Uh, once we've Clean the dentures, there should be proper labor, labeling um, and the necessary information. So they gave some um, helpful hints. They say for the skill evaluation, which is to provide more care, uh, um, we start the skill by explaining the procedure to the patient and closing the curtains for privacy. So we're going to start with we speak to the patients first, then you close the curtains for privacy. And then you end each skill by disposing of your gloves and washing your hands. So that's a must. Um, another um, helpful hint which was mentioned is always watch for signs of choking when providing mouth care. So very be very um, attentive. Um, observant when we are dealing with a patient. The next skill care which is mentioned is of cleaning the upper and 
or lower denture. So there's eight steps. We're gonna go through them quickly. One, you wash hands and put on gloves. Two, line um line the sink with a towel. Three, rinse the dentures under lukewarm water. Four, you brush the dentures with a soft brush and denture paste. Five, you rinse the dentures and the denture cup. Six, place dentures in a dentures cup half filled with water or solution. Seven, dispose of towel and rinse the toothbrush. And finally, you remove your gloves and you wash your hands. It says, when providing oral care for unconscious patients, treat the patients as if they were conscious. Example, identify yourself and explain the task. If not, con constricted, um, I must have pronounced that word there, um, raise the bed to 30 degrees and position the patient close to the side of the bed before starting. Once the patient is positioned, place a towel under the patient's head and a basin beneath their chin. So the chin is always the place to place the, the, the position to place the basin, whether you're dealing with the mouthwash or the dentures. Apply water solution lubricant to the patient's lip. Gently separate the patient's jaw with a padded tongue depressor. Never force the teeth apart. Then wet, wet a tooth, a toothed, and this was mentioned as a. I've seen this one before. As a swab, so you wet the swab with the prescribed solution or mouthwash. Squeeze out excess solution and thoroughly swab the mouth from top to bottom. When cleaning is finished, use chloro, chloros, chloroxide mouthwash or water to rinse the swab. Change the swab as needed. Okay, helpful tips. Never use hot water or regular toothpaste on dentures. Helpful tips. Avoid triggering the gag reflux, reflux, reflex when swabbing the tongue and the mouth and the roof of the mouth. So be careful not to allow the patients to gag. Okay, so we have a quick review question. Um, the question states, just bear with me, I'm just going through these notes. This, uh, this is a read through. Question says, after cleaning dentures, the nurse aide should place the clean dentures A on a clean, dry towel next to the sink, B in a cup of water on the patient's bedside, C, back in the patient's mouth, or D, in the appropriate trash receptacle. So after cleaning the dentures, the nurse's aide should place the clean dentures where? A, on a clean, dry towel next to the sink, B, in a cup of water on the patient's bedside, C, back into the patient's mouth, or in a, in a trash receptacle? And the answer is B, clean denture should be put in a cup of water or solution and placed within reach of the patient. So that's our quick review. Um, let me see the time. Okay, we, I think we can do one more still evaluation before 15 minutes. So we go to bathing. 
bathing. Bathing can help a patient feel better, improve circulation, prevent odors and infection, and provide an opportunity to spot an injury. So once you bathe, you can see if there's an injury as well. Follow the physician's order and the patient's preference regarding when and how often the patient should bathe and what cleaners to use. Equipments include gloves, at least two towels, five to six washcloths, um, bath, blankets, bed linens to change the patient's bedding, a wash basin with warm water, skin cleanser, skin lotion or a skin barrier cream and cleaning cloth clothing. That's bathing. Now, when we go to now bed bath, bed baths are given to patients who cannot bathe in a tub or a shower. Start with the face, then move to the arms, the chest, the legs, and leg. So face and downwards. Place a towel under each limb before washing, and pat each area dry before moving on. To finish. Turn patient on their side and wash from the neck down to the buttocks. Privacy is a priority when giving bed baths. Always cover areas not being washed. Use new washcloths when moving to a new area. And change water when it is soapy, dirty or cold. After the bath is completed, Ensure that the areas between the toes, under the breasts, and inside skin folds are dry before dressing the patient. Skill evaluation. And this is give, give modify bed bath. And in brackets, we have face and one arm, hand and underarm. So we have nine steps for this. One, we're going to wash our hands. Two, we're going to remove the patient's gown and dispose of it properly. Keep the patient's chest and lower body covered with a blanket. Three, test water temperature for safety and comfort. Four, put on gloves. Five, wash face with a wet face cloth with no soap. Bring the inner aspect of eyes and expand, sorry, begin with the inner aspect of eyes and expand to the rest of the face. Use a new spot on the face cloth each time. Six, dry face. Seven, uncover the arm to be washed and place towel underneath. Eight, Apply soap to washcloths and gently wash fingers, hands, arms, underarm, dry washed ears. Nine, dress pa patients in a clean gown. Ten, clean, store, or dispose of linen supplies properly. Observing clean techniques. So that's the ten steps of a modified bed bath. Okay, so patients who are able to leave their beds may take tub baths. The nurse aid may provide various levels of assistance. They may simply they may simply be present and available to help when asked, or they may need to assist the patients with bathing. Some guidelines for tub baths are given below. Always clean the tub before bathing a patient. Ensure the side rails, the call light, and other safety equipment are in working order before bringing the patient to the tub. Ask the patient to void before starting the bath. 
remove hearing aids glasses before helping patients into the tub. Monitor the patient for weakness or dizziness. Tub baths should be no longer than 20 minutes. Check the water temperature for safety and for comfort. Never fill the tub higher than the waist deep. Keep soap bar out of the water when washing. Do not use oils in a tub or a shower. Use a non-skid mat for patients to stand on when they exit the tub. And finally, use the same order as the bed bath, starting with the eyes, ending with the pre, um, perineal, perineal areas, perineal areas, wet and shampoo ears, wet, wet and shampoo here if requested. The main responsibility of a nurse aide when assisting with showers is to maintain the patient's privacy. There is a greater risk of dizziness or falls if a patient stands to bed. Patients should use a bench or chair if they if they are a fall risk. There is also a risk for chills if the patient is not under the stream of water, especially with an unheld shower nozzle. Guidelines for showers are similar to those for tub baths. Provide the requested amount of bathing assistance and monitor for safety risk. I'm just going to go right to the, the question and I end this video just for time. Um, perineal care. Perineal care should be done when bathing and whenever the patient has urine or feces on them. It provides, it prevents infection, promotes comfort, prevents odor. Some general guidelines guidelines for um, perineal care are given below. For females, for females, separate the, um, where am I? For females, separate the labia with one hand and wipe one side, the other side, then the middle with the other hand. For males, retract the foreskin if the patient is uncircumcised. Start at the meatus and wipe downwards in a circular motion. Replace the foreskin when done. Always use a new area of washcloth and a single stroke from top to bottom. Change the washcloth when soiled. Do not reuse the dirty washcloth or place them in the water basin. Skin evaluation when you're providing perineal care or pericare for females. One, test water temperature in a basin for safety and comfort. Two, Put on gloves. Three, place pad on the buttocks and perineal area. Four, expose the patient's body from hips to knees. From hips to knees. Five, which is highlighted, use soapy washcloth. Wash the perineal area. Wiping front to back using new areas of the washcloth each time. Six, which is highlighted with new wa wet washcloth, rinse the, pre, um, the perineal area using the same method. Seven, dry the area with towel using the front to back method. Eight, 
roll patient to their side um, in the lateral or sims position and repeat position for the rectal area. Nine, deep position patients in the semi position and ensure comfort. Ten and last, clean, store, and dispose of linen supplies properly, observing um, clean techniques. The question for this revision um, was as follows. During a tub bath, the nurse aide should first, first is highlighted, wash the patients. So I repeat, during a tub bath, the nurse aide should first wash the patients. And first is highlighted, as the patient's hands, the patient's feet, the patient's eyes, or the patient's pre- um, pre perineal, I'm pronouncing this word all over, area. Um, so which one should we attend to first? The hands, the feet, the eyes, or the perineal area. And the answer is, as we're going to close off for this video section, is C. The nurse age should start a top bath by washing the patient's eyes, then moving outward to the rest of the body so we always start with the eyes thanks for watching i will continue for the next session